So today I'm going to draw Alien Nate from my book, Alien Nate. He's uh, sort of a fun little character I just uh, was goofing around in the sketchbook and came up with. So what I uh, do is I just start with sort of a gesture. Normally I would use a brush and dip it in ink and then I would use a uh, curl quill pen for the, f the fine line. But in this case, I'll just use a fine uh, nib pen as well as a brush pen. These are great. They're just like brushes. Um, if you ever want to try them, they're at any art supply store. So the thing about Nate that I like is he doesn't have any hands or feet. And artists are always uh, experts at hiding hands and feet. I hate drawing hands if I don't have to. I'll have them behind a box or a piece of paper or something. Um, and I also don't like drawing horses. So there are no horses or hands in, in Alien Nate. So when I do the eyes, I kind of like doing them a little off balance just to kind of give them a goofy look. And we can play around with things like expressions. You can make them kind of smile. You can make them look like he's up to something. A little antenna. And then I like to add the cone ears. Now this is what I was talking about with fine lines. I use switch to this and then I can get a little more detail. And just adds a little bit of dimension to the character. You'll notice he has little polka dots on the top of his head. so. I'll use that for, for this, maybe a bit of shading on the side. And that's kind of what, uh, how easy it is to draw Elon Neat. Now the ship is a little more, um, a little more detail to it. I decided to go with a typical normal alien ship just because it worked better in the story. But what I'd like you guys to do is come up with your own alien ship. Now it could be anything it could be like a what would an alien ship look like could be a, like a piece of broccoli it doesn't have to be your typical round alien spacecraft it could be what does alien broccoli look like maybe try something like that so um so what i like to do is just go in and have strange little wirings and tubes sticking out so lots of gadgetry under the ship as it's landing you can see it's a little bit of that here as well um then I go back in and draw like the little bolts and things like that just to make it fun. I'm doing this a lot faster than what I would normally do, but I'll give you the general idea. It's actually good to draw a little fast because that way you don't tighten up too much. So anyway, you get the general idea. Um, so what I'd like you to do is draw your alien use your imagination you don't just need a pen and a, and a brush imagination is the most important thing so try to do your own alien cr uh, creature as well as a spacecraft and see what you can come up with and do, make it something really wild and unexpected Great. okay so now i want to show you what an illustrator does when they have a job um, and have to create a character so what i use is this is my rough drawing here which i've Usually an art director, an editor will look at it and approve it and we'll make little changes here and there. Uh, but then what you do is take it on to what I use. This is board. You can see how it lights up. It's like a little light table. If you don't have one of these at home, guess what works? Um, the window. Just take your, your drawing to a window and it will work just fine. So I'll get a piece of paper here. And normally what I do is I tape it together, but we'll just hold it with our hand just so it doesn't slip. Now the, the secret to doing this is to capture the same energy you have in the drawing. A lot of people tighten up once they have their drawing and they have to do it uh, in, uh, in uh, final with ink. So again, what I normally use is a brush and, and a crow quill. But for this, now you see how I kind of tightened up there? So I want to still do the eyes like this. Keep it nice and loose. This one's actually dying a little bit, so I'll do it this way. Now, when you make mistakes, don't worry, because you can always go back and fix them up. So earlier I was talking about using your imagination. Uh, for something like this, um, you know, I'm doing three eyes, which is kind of typical, but 
You could do triangle eyes or square eyes, or it could be any shape you want. So I'm just trying to get the energy. Again, I'm losing a little bit. You can see how the felt marker's breaking up, so it's probably time for a, a new pen, but I'm gonna do the, the basics down. I do sort of a lighter line. Add little details like bloodshot eyes. What self-respecting alien doesn't have bloodshot eyes? So I'll do that kind of thing. And then what I do is I go back in with the brush now. Add a little bit of thick and thin lines. Gives a lot more life. And I kind of like the loose quality of this. I, I don't care if it's a little bit off. I'm just going to have fun with it. And anything that you don't like, you can always go back and touch it up. If you want to but I find a lot of times you make as uh, Bob Ross says happy accidents just let them happen don't worry about them same goes with writing if you're writing a story and you're like oh this is I, I'm worried about this I made a mistake just keep writing just don't worry about it you go back and fix it up in the second draft or whatever so okay so I'm just gonna do this and one thing I thought for his hands instead of just normal hands what if he had Laser gun hands, that's kind of fun. So again, I'm doing a little bit faster than what I normally would do, but I just don't want to bore you too much here. So. so I like that the mouth has kind of slime and saliva, alien saliva dripping off. So I'll go back in and finish coloring the, the mouth, but I want to get the basics down here. And then again, what I'm going to do is go in after, I'm going to add the shadow here. See how I just did quick little swishes here? Not too worried about the, the detail. It'd be kind of fun if he didn't have legs. Maybe he could just be floating. You can do all kinds of things. Just uh, go where your imagination takes you. So I'm just going to put some of the final touches on. You see it looks better once you get in with the, the fine, finer felt marker. And little things will happen like it's kind of the lines breaking up a bit, but I can always go back in and fix that if I want to, or maybe it'll end up working the way I want. So yeah, there you go. And can't forget the little polka dots. Bubbles coming out of the mouth. Gotta have the alien tongue sticking out in the back here. And now, you might wanna add little bits of shadowing here and there. I even use a finer pen for that. Maybe there's some weird lines in the lips. Anything you can do to give it more dimension is kind of fun. And there you go, we got ourselves an alien. I'll just finish the, the mouth so you can see what's going on in here. I always find darks and lights really help to make a illustration punchier. So if you can add some darks here and there, along with the lighter um, line work, that that works too. And I don't like I don't mind leaving little spaces of of uh, you don't have to fill in the whole area. It can just uh, you know it just gives it a bit of extra life. So there you go. There's our alien. And you can see my book, this guy, he has polka dots and some similar things like that as well. So you tend to draw things the same way, but um, this one I like to push it a bit further and try some, uh, some different things. And then the editor already approved this drawing with the legs. So I would probably do two versions. I'd say, hey, what do you think of this without the legs? Scan that. And then I'd put in the version that was uh, approved and do it this way. 
go in and add the legs because editors don't like surprises or art directors if they've approved something already you can um, you pretty much need to stick to what's been approved by usually there's a bunch of different people that look at it but you can also give them your own version and say hey what do you think of this one too I kind of like this and then they will um, they might like that better but just don't give them any surprises so here's the laser now after after I scanned this I would go in and wipe that part out and I always like sound effects one of my favorite cartoonists was Matt um, the guy from Mad Don Martin he always used to have great sound effects so I always I like to pattern myself after him and add little sound effects here and there but there you go that is how you do the alien I'd like to see what you come up with make the craziest wildest alien you can imagine and we'll see I might even post some of them if you guys want to send some okay thank you